What do you want now, kid? <laughs> I'm 11 years old and I can take you. I'll beat you within an inch of your fucking life if you don't get away from me, kid. Help me! Help me! Oh, I'd love to see it all. This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. What is going on, ladies and gents? So, today I am doing a tutorial by request uh, from Captain. I requested it almost a month ago, but I've been pretty busy with other things. So I figured I'd throw this together real quick on how you can force your follower to uh, choose a different combat style. It's really... You're really not, because when you, you let them go, it kind of... Uh, goes back to vanilla but this is the way i would do it if i was going to do it and i don't with gellis and the reason is it's used resources almost like a flex in a mod right like oh look what this one can do when first come on it was cool after about 15 minutes well it's almost forgotten so and it uses up a couple resources but i'll show you how to do it uh real quick so i already made a quest as you know we always have to have a quest going i have it very simple i just call the combat change this has got to be running. I don't have it start game enabled. You can do that. A uh, couple quest stages. Doesn't matter, really. I guess put zero in a startup stage if you want to. Uh, none of that's going to matter. Aliases is going to matter. So we're going to put a couple reference aliases in. Uh, we'll call it... I think I got it set for AK Archer on the script I wrote. Ar uh, AK Archer, maybe. Archery, I'm not sure. We'll do an archery, right? Uh, I always allow reserves, uh, optional reusing quests. That way the quest starts. That's the reason for that being there. Uh, you want to check off uh, specific references. You leave it at that. Nothing fancy, right? Um, and that's it at the moment, right? So go to here. Duplicate this. And then we'll go to two-handed, right? We'll call it AK two-handed. So this is just an example of how you can do it real quick. Um, it's raining out here in February up in the snow. It sucks. Okay. So we got these two aliases done. Now we're going to go back into this one. And we're going to add a package. Right? So let's open up this and create a new package. This will come up. We'll call this AAA... Um, archery change oops change now this is where it's going to get interesting a little bit we're going to change this to hold hold position now it sounds like they're going to stand there but they're not so what they're going to do is they're going to hold position in a radius uh near reference and then you want to just choose any on the cell and give it a second and it will load up. Then it will say player. So this is from the player. There you go. So that means they're still going to move with the player. Uh, you can change this if you want to let make them stay back a little bit more. You could use the same alias as if you wanted to add like stay farther back. You could change this to like 2000 and they'll stay way back and they won't come close to you. So many things you can do with this. It's crazy. It's actually very simple. Change it to 750, which is the norm on the units. You could change it so they're up close. You could do all kinds of things with this, not just combat style. So over here, though, we're going to change combat style in this package. And we'll go down to uh, human archery or missile, it is, human missile. Override is combat. So if something happens, they're close and they get attacked and they're going to put the bow away, that allows it to be overridden by grabbing a sword up close or a dagger or whatever's happening. It's that simple. Package is done. It's in the alias, right? Now, if... We were going to go in, oh, let's open that back up to make sure everything else is right. The hold usually goes to it. Uh, on your flags, uh, hellos to play, you can do random conversation. That's all depends. Uh, you don't want that. Uh, you can keep this if you want. This is, again, what they're going to do when it's thrown into this package, but you don't have to because your follow-up package is still doing it. Um, Hello is the player. Yeah, I guess not. No, we can... We can do this. Greet court behavior, uh, reaction to player actions, friendly fire comments. I'll leave it at here, right? Uh, that should be good right there. You can add conditions. Like I said, something you can play around with. This is just a quick tutorial. So, uh, And let's go to here and close that out. So the package is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close this back out, save it, 
uh, we'll call it, uh, yeah, combat change. And so I want to go into packages real quick because it did create that package. Even though it wasn't an alias, it's still archery change. There we go. So I'm going to duplicate it. So we got the first one where we want it set. Let's duplicate this one. And I'm going to call it uh, two-handed change. So that one's done there. Now we're going to want to change this, of course, to human tank. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the one. No, boss two-handed. Let's go with that one. Uh, so here we are with... So what's going to happen is when... If this package is on your follower... Uh, create new form, no, because we duplicated it. And then hit yes to here. So if we... Uh, this is on the follower, which it will be when we're done. They'll go with two-handed. So we're going to go back into here now. Instead of creating a brand new package every time. Let's open up the two-handed one. And then choose add. Put the two-handed in there. Now the aliases are done. Now if you want to have every single one in there, go right down through and create every alias for it. We're going to go to dialogue now. Uh, we're going to create this new, of course. And uh, we'll call it combat change. I don't think you can actually. A one. And then uh, we'll let it go to topic, right? So here is... I don't know. I want you to fight different, right? Okay, and we got that. And now we're going to go here. Hit new here. Uh, they'll say, what would you... Uh, how would you like me to fight? We'll do that. How would you like me to fight? And then from here... We, now, we got this one created, right? That's the main one. We've been over this. I, like I said, I'm not going to repeat myself on all the stuff I've done. So we're going to put a new one in here, and I'm going to change this to just archery. Archery. I'm going to change this one to two-handed. So now we got these two, but as you can see, this little arrow, that's the main. So let's go back to here. We're going to want to add links, and we'll put the archery one in there. We'll put the two-handed one in there. So now that option will come up when this comes up. Now, how do you want me to fight? Uh, we got... Get in faction. Because we don't want that to show up on everybody. So get in faction. And... Cur yeah, current follower faction. There we go. So that can only be said to a current follower. Uh, and you again, you can adjust all this the way you want to. I'm going to make it so it can only be said like every 12 hours. I don't know why you change something every two seconds. And leave that there. Now we're going to go into these ones. Let's go to archery. I'm just going to put archery. I'm not going to, this ain't nothing I'm going to use. So I'm not going to be too fancy about it. And put new here. But you got it. And we'll make the scripts for this in a moment. But, so we want uh, that to be a good buy. We'll open up something here for, we'll just put archery for now. And we'll compile that, which will create the small script. We're going to come back to this anyway. So, and then we'll do the AAA archery change on the script name. That one's set up. We're going to close it out anyway, so it creates it right now. That's why it takes a second. And I'm going to leave it at that one uh, because I don't need to. You just do the same thing on two-handed, right? So I'm going to leave it there. You understand where I'm going with this. So... When this comes up and you get to talk with them, let's change this to, let's say, 80. So it will be higher up in the dialogue tree when, when you go to talk to the, to the follower. And follow this here. we we got to close this all out so it creates a script into the file that we need. 
Okay, now we're going to open this back up. Go into here. We're going to go back to the Archie one. Just follow this template if you want to add them all or whatever you want to do. And in the Archie, we got to open up for properties. So we're going to add property. Now we got to want to reference alias is one we want. Change this to, yeah, a, just do you, same one you were using. Uh, AKA Archer, Archery. If it doesn't autofill, you can do one of two things. You can go here and edit value. You can get, uh, no, that one didn't autofill. Do I not got it name the same? What's going on? Uh, I do. Oh, weird. Usually that should autofill. Anyways, there we are here. We got that here. Now your property is set. So I got a couple scripts put up already. And I already got it set to what they're going to do. This is why I typed everything else. And I will, will put these in the description. Now, in the begin script, it doesn't matter, I guess, but put it in the begin just to be on the safe side. So if you cancel out of it real quick and the script doesn't fire. Uh, force reference speaker. So let's compile this. There you go. So if you were to do the same thing with two-handed, so what this does is this. When this, obviously you got to have this quest running with your follower, right? You, I got many tutorials how to start these. Um, this dialogue will show up. I want you to fight different. Your follower will say, "I would, how would you like me to fight?" Then you have all these options, however many you make. If I choose archery, it'll go to this here, and he or she will say, "You got it." This forces the reference in the AK Archery alias, which in turn, now your follower will also be in this alias, which has this package, aliases take forever to open, which has this package, which will make them follow you. It is not like they're out of every other alias there. They're still in the other, your follower alias, but now it adds this package, kind of like putting a scene on your follower too. So they interrupt override on combat and they will you be a human missile and they'll use a bow if they didn't before. That's change it to two-handed, change it to whatever you want, right? It's really that simple. So that as long as that quest is running, that person is going to use a bow from here on out until you change it. All right. Hopefully that helps and what you're looking for. I know it isn't like this immaculate thing where it isn't nothing fancy. It's it's uh like I said, it's kind of a weak flex in a mod because they make it look like I did this amazing, and they didn't. They, they just created an alias. And I'm sure, I haven't looked. I mean, some of them don't release their source. I haven't really looked into it, but there, I'm sure there's other ways to do it. That's how I would do it if I was going to. So I hope this does help you, Captain, or anybody else is watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.